Hi, passionate Rangers FC fans. Welcome to Rangers Update, your dedicated source for all things Rangers. Before we dive in, we want to express our gratitude for your unwavering support. If you bleed blue, don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and let's strengthen our community. Now, let's get into the latest updates, a hearty welcome to our new followers. Your backing means the world to us. WATP, let's get to the news. Philippe Clement, the Glasgow Rangers manager, appears to be carving out a new blueprint at Ibrox, aiming to revitalize the club's transfer approach since the summer window. The Belgian coach has taken a different path from his predecessors, who tried similar rebuilds but often invested heavily in players who, for one reason or another, didn't yield any long-term value for the club. This cycle of costly mistakes weighed on Rangers' potential for profit, and the club is now keen to learn from those missteps. In recent years, Rangers have seen players like Cyril Dessas, Sam Lammers, and Ben Davies arrive with high expectations. Yet, despite the considerable sums spent to secure these signings, none of the three fully delivered, falling short of the impact their transfer fees demanded. It's a dilemma that has left the club grappling with stagnant play and a failure to generate crucial profits from these investments. Clement's cautious approach has drawn criticism as fans watch the team struggle to generate scoring opportunities, as demonstrated in the disheartening loss to Kilmarnock. However, there is a bigger picture in play. Clement, in collaboration with Nils Koppen, the director of football recruitment, is working toward a more strategic transfer model, aiming to alter the Rangers' recruitment strategy toward younger, high-potential players rather than established, aging talent. This past summer saw Rangers welcome 10 new faces, with two, Voslov Cerny and Nereisho Carson Wurjo, arriving on season-long loans, while the remaining eight joined on permanent deals. In an interesting twist, most of these recruits are under the age of 25, signalling a clear pivot from signing season players to pursuing younger prospects with room to grow, develop, and, importantly, appreciate in value. Clement's approach, however, is no quick fix and may test the patience of the Ibrox faithful, who are understandably eager for immediate results. Still, his plan appears to be a long-term strategy to build Rangers' financial strength by cultivating players who could generate revenue for the club in the years to come. All Clement needs to do is look across Glasgow to see the benefits of this model, as Celtic has demonstrated for years the value of a sustainable player trading system. Celtic's approach has been undeniably successful, with one notable example being their sale of Virgil van Dijk, now regarded as one of the finest centre-backs in the world. Signed in 2013 for a modest £2.6 million, Van Dijk's immense potential was evident during his time in Scotland. He eventually joined Southampton for £13 million, netting Celtic a substantial profit, with additional earnings from a sell-on clause when he moved to Liverpool. Such deals illustrate the financial rewards Rangers could reap if Clement's vision takes hold, a path that could eventually close the financial gap with their city rivals. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to get all the exclusive news about Rangers FC. Don't overlook any details about your beloved team. It's crucial for Rangers FC fans. In a move that has sent ripples through Scottish football, the Rangers appear poised to reclaim Nathan Patterson, an Everton right-back whose roots lie deeply embedded in Glasgow's storied football landscape. This potential transfer has set fans buzzing with anticipation, as Patterson's youth career and initial professional rise took place within the Rangers' own walls. Having started his journey with the club, Patterson made a remarkable debut and contributed to Rangers' successes, stepping up during critical moments and even scoring in a memorable Europa League match against Royal Antwerp. His undeniable talent made him a fan favourite, and now whispers of his return bring a sense of nostalgia and renewed hope to the Rangers' faithful. The prospect of Patterson's return holds considerable appeal for the Rangers, who are keen to bolster their defence with a player who already understands the club's ethos. Patterson's career has since evolved in the Premier League with Everton, where he was signed for a significant fee in 2022. Although his time at Everton was marred by injury setbacks and limited playing time, he has shown flashes of brilliance, especially during pre-season games where he showcased his offensive prowess with assists. For Rangers, bringing Patterson back would not only reinforce their defensive line but also add an offensive edge, making him a versatile asset on the pitch. 
Sources close to the Rangers suggest that the club sees in Patterson more than just a returnee, he is viewed as a young talent who could further grow within familiar grounds. With his experience in one of the world's most competitive leagues, Patterson now brings both skill and resilience, qualities Rangers are eager to harness as they chase both domestic titles and European ambitions. Fans have followed his career with pride, and the idea of him donning the blue shirt again stirs excitement across the fan base, many of whom see him as a symbol of the club's commitment to developing local talent. Everton, however, might be hesitant to part ways with a player who was once regarded as a long-term prospect. Patterson's signing came with high expectations, and he has shown glimpses of what he could offer when fit. But with Everton's own roster pressures, they may ultimately decide to let him go, particularly if the Rangers make an offer that reflects his growth since leaving Glasgow. For Patterson, the move could mean a chance to re-establish himself in a familiar environment where he once thrived. Patterson's skills make him a unique addition to any squad, blending traditional defensive rigour with a fearless attacking instinct that sets him apart. As a right-back, he possesses a rare mix of speed and physicality, allowing him to break down opposition plays and recover the ball quickly. His natural athleticism gives him an edge in one-on-one -on -one situations, where he can outmaneuver opponents, shutting down threats with confidence. For Rangers, a player with this skill set represents not just reinforcement, but also a fresh tactical advantage, as Patterson has the speed and stamina to press high and recover rapidly. Adding to his defensive prowess, Patterson's vision and ability to push forward make him a critical offensive weapon. While he's adept at locking down the right flank defensively, he also shines when moving into the opposition's half. His overlapping runs have been a feature of his play at Everton, where he often serves as a crucial outlet for quick counter-attacks. This quality is particularly valuable in Rangers' game plan, which relies on fluid transitions and creating width. With Patterson back, fans could expect to see his bold forward moves that stretch defences and open up space for the forwards to exploit. Beyond his tactical skills, Patterson brings a sense of fearlessness that adds intensity to every match. He's known for his hard tackles and unyielding tenacity, embodying the grit that Ranger supporters adore. Patterson's physical style would likely add an extra layer of security to the Rangers' backline, particularly in high-stakes games where pressure runs high. As a young talent with experience in top-flight leagues, he possesses both the maturity and the hunger to make a tangible impact, fueling the expectation that he could quickly become a cornerstone of the Rangers' defence. Rangers fans are no strangers to Patterson's powerful crosses, which he perfected during his early years with the club. His accuracy in delivering crosses has only improved, and he remains a player capable of setting up key plays in the final third. The prospect of Patterson linking up with Rangers attackers again brings immense excitement, as his return could mean more chances created from the wings. With a player of his caliber, Rangers would gain both defensive stability and a creative spark, a combination that could be key to dominating Scottish and European competitions alike. As negotiations continue, Rangers fans hold their breath, eager to see if this Glasgow prodigal son will return. Patterson's arrival could add a fresh layer of dynamism and resilience to the squad, perhaps marking the beginning of a new chapter for both the club and player. Greetings, fans! Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, as it's greatly appreciated by Rangers FC. And don't forget to share your thoughts on the news in the comments section below. Until the next video, stay tuned.